Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today at Wig Studio One. I'm Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio and today I'll be reviewing the brand new On Vogue by Ellen Villa and the color Espresso Mix. I'd like to thank Wig Studio One for providing On Vogue for me to review for all of you. This is a brand new style to act to by Ellen Villa. The link to On Vogue will be listed down for you in the description box. And if you have any questions about On Vogue or any of the other styles that we show here at Wig Studio One, please contact support at wigstudio1.com and the consultants will be happy to help you. As I mentioned, this is a brand new style to Ellen Villa. There are, at the time that I am recording this, there are four new styles that are being released and I was so excited to get On Vogue. On Vogue is from the Hair Power Collection. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference and there is lots of stretch to On Vogue as there is on many of the other styles that you find on in the Hair Power Collection. I, I'd say it probably would fit about up to a 22 inch circumference. On On Vogue, we have a mini lace front, a mono crown, we have a basic cap and we have heat friendly fibers. I've seen many questions regarding the mini lace front and I'll show you when I show you the cap, but basically a mini lace uh, front is just a little piece of lace right there. And the question that I see that that comes up the most often is why not a full lace front? Why just a mini? There's a, a few reasons for that. One of the reasons is that that mini lace front, it allows for the price of the price point to be kept lower than if we had a full lace front be make the wig a little bit more durable because we don't have a lace front that is going to have a lot of wear and tear on it therefore and and all the fraying that may come at long, with extended wear so this will help it extend its life a little bit more the last reason that they do it it does provide some unnatural hairline this style is not meant to be worn off the face this is meant to be worn at a side swept bang you could also cut a bang into it if that's something that you'd like to do but this is definitely a style to be worn to the side and it just that little mini lace front just helps separate the fibers and just creates a really pretty look obviously if you prefer to wear your hair totally off the face then perhaps on vogue may not be a style that you would want to to have perhaps mirage which is very similar would be a better option for you the color espresso mix is the the color code is a two four so we have black we have the darkest brown and blended with a dark brown I see this as a cool brunette because I don't see any red and the color code has no indication of any red being in it. So if you like a cool brunette, a very dark brunette, this appears almost black, if you will. I think that you would absolutely love espresso mix. it is another gorgeous style by Ellen Villa. We do have a basic cap. We do have a little bit of permatease. I could feel a little bit of the return hairs on top. However, Ellen Villa does this very well. There's never an abundance of permatease. There's, it's only just the right amount that's needed, whether it's to cover the wefts or to provide the form that we have right here. Well, I can feel it. I looked closely at it and I didn't see any, any um, of the return hairs or anything. These styles are also, if you just move the fibers around a little bit, it's going to give you uh, a more natural appearance and they're very comfortable uh, caps to wear. HD fibers in, in Ellenville, I think they last very well. I have a few Ellenville HD fibers. If you are going to apply heat because you want to add some more curls or you want to apply a little bit of heat at the end, at the ends every four or five wears just to keep them from becoming dry and brittle, just keep the temperature of your hot tool at 260 or less. At the end of each of the wear, 
at the end of each wear with all of my HD fibers from Ellen Villa. I use the Smooth Detangler Spray. I just spray a little bit at the, at the nape. I comb it out with a wide tooth comb. And then I follow it up with the Beauty Mark also by Ellen Villa. This is the leave-in conditioner and I just spray a little bit all over and then my wig is ready to go for the next day or just hang it in a ventilated wig stand. The style on Vogue, we have lots of layers here. If you remember the style illusions that is now discontinued, this is very similar. I think it's a nice replacement for illusions. Lots of layers. We have a front of seven and a half inches, beautiful face framing layers. We have a crown of 11 and a half inches. The sides are 10 inches. The nape is 13 and a half. So we have a very long piece here. And the weight on En Vogue is 4.9 ounces. It's a, it feels very light. The density is very, very light. If I go to make a ponytail, it's going to give me a very thin ponytail. And that is due to the very low density on it. I have great coverage, my very low hairline, which I don't mind it showing, but we can tuck it behind the ears. We could add, add a headband. Could do a side ponytail. I love wearing these longer styles with the side ponytail. You could put it up in a messy bun. We have that mini lace front, which is going to give us the illusion of a natural hairline in that little area right there. But otherwise, we have a basic cap and we do have a mono crown, giving us the illusion of hair growth. We have felt covered ear tabs with the fibers coming through. We have an extended nape and Velcro adjusters and a nice stretch to the cap. Thank you everyone. At Wig Studio One, we appreciate you spending this time with us. We hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and we will see you next time. Bye.